There is one concept that we have been using, but I haven't explicitly explained. That concept is called the point of inflection. A point of inflection on a graph is a point on the graph at which the concavity changes. A point of inflection is a point on the graph at which the concavity changes. Notice that's what we've been finding the last uh, few examples. In the last few examples, we've found where the second derivative was zero. And when we checked it in the last few examples, it was switching from concave up to concave cave down at all of those values. Algebraically, that's exactly what we're going to be looking for. If a point C comma F of C is a point of inflection on the graph F, then either the second derivative at C is zero or the second derivative at C does not exist. These are kind of like critical values and critical points for the first derivative. Well, for the second derivative, those are points of inflection. First derivative gives us critical values. The second derivative gives us points of inflection in a very similar way. Let me find all of the points of inflection for the following function. g of x equals 3x to the third minus 8x squared plus 2x minus 7. We've already done the necessary work to find the points of inflection in a previous problem. So we'll do this pretty quickly. But I want to do it from scratch again. g prime of x, first derivative, would be 9x squared minus 16x plus 2. The second derivative is 18x minus 16. We know points of inflection can only happen when the second derivative is zero or does not exist. In this case, the second derivative will exist no matter what number you plug in. So the only time we can get a point of inflection is if the second derivative is zero. We've solved this earlier and found that becomes the x value of eight ninths. Now, this is the x value of the point of inflection. So that tells me the x value of the point of inflection has to be eight ninths. If I wanted to find the y value, I would just plug in the eight ninths into the original function g. So plug in 8 ninths into this one. If you did that, you'd get a really ugly number. I ended up getting negative 2293 over 243, which if you round to a couple of decimal places, 8 ninths is 0.89 and negative 2293 over 243 is negative 9.44. So there you are. We have the point of inflection there. That's where this function changes from concave up to concave down or from concave down to concave up.
I would like you to find the points of inflection for the following function. Go ahead and push pause on the video and do that. On the next video, I'll show you how this is done.